did you have any certifications before you started your first job? I think that is more directed at Katie on the, the technical side, but we also were um, asked, what experience or certifications do you recommend for someone wanting to jump into cybersecurity project management? I'll, I'll go first and say I did not. I had my, I did have a certification. It was my Evolve Security Certified Professional. So <laughs> that was my certification. Um, and um, I have seen colleagues from the boot camp that have both gotten jobs without, you know, like let's say like Security Plus is kind of a baseline. Um, I've seen colleagues that have gotten a job without Security Plus, and I've also seen colleagues get. Um, you know, told you interviewed really well. And if you had security plus, we would have hired you. So um, I don't know if you necessarily need it, if you can demonstrate the skills without it, um, you know, you might not need it, but um, if, especially for a person who maybe doesn't have a, a tech background, I think it's a really great baseline cert for, you know, industry terminology, understanding cryptography, and just some like really baseline expectations for uh, security work. So I do maybe recommend Security Plus if if you are a career changer or really just getting started. Yeah. And then on the project management side, were there any certs or courses that you would recommend for someone looking to make that jump? So I actually have my certification in product management. How ironic. Um, <laughs> which has actually helped in project management as well. I, I'm a firm believer that no knowledge or education is ever wasted. Um, that being said, I also know that it's a frustration to pursue certifications, pour money in time into something and then it not pan out with the result that you want. So I would probably say, um, for instance, we have a, a security basics course. Um, that one is a really good entry level, um, helps you gauge your interest for the big one. Um, and uh, most security project managers, I know they have gone after their CISSP, but that has been after several years. So I would probably say find ways to get involved with cybersecurity um, organically. Uh, it, if you wanna go after the certification, great, but that's not necessary. And people saying, well, you need to have this first. I would disagree. I would say experience matters more and that will actually make your, your certification um, be more important. So obtain yeah. some experience first in whatever way you can. You know, when you're ready to take a security plus exam or something like that, um, because you study, that's how you know you're ready. Is you study and you study, you might, you might not pass the first time and that's okay too. Um, you know, a lot of people don't, uh, you know, you might take it a couple of times. It's totally, totally fine. Um, but yeah, you have to set yourself up for success. And that means putting in a little bit of time and effort to study. Um, so I think if you're, if you're unsure, if you're ready, then you should spend some time to figure out what are the best study materials I can find and how can I carve out some time to, to, um, dedicate to studying um, but like when to take them um, don't don't hold yourself back just um, try and you know try and go for it you know um, I don't recommend waiting um, a lot of the skills that you're learning a lot of knowledge you're learning in the boot camp applies specifically to security plus it's really transferable um, but yeah just um, make time and and spend some spend some effort <laughs> 